Hello there. So, continuing from the last video on knapsacking using brute force, we're going to do knapsack greedy. This will require items, max weight again, and something called key funk. Not p funk, key funk. Um, So, Brute Force tried essentially every combination and chose the optimal one. <clears throat> so, the greedy one is not going to do that. It's going to sort the value or the items in such a way that it can just keep taking until it's full and then it's going to stop. So, let's see. We need some key functions. Key functions are just ways of telling uh, a sorting function or something how, uh, on what element to sort. So let's say if we wanted to sort on weight, we'll do that since weight is at index 1 down here. So also want to sort by value. I'll do that. And I'm going to sort in one interesting way. Make sure to cast this to a float. Uh, two. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to divide value by weight. And that's going to give us density. So let's make the default key function value. So this word value here is referring to this function. So later we're going to pass in this key function to a, the sort function, and it's going to sort that list based on this key. So knapsack is going to be that. Set weight to zero, value to zero, uh, sort in items, key equals key funk. So while there are still items left. list and the weight of the item plus um actually that doesn't work either Yeah, it does. Okay. So, weight is still the main constraint, even if we're sorting by something else, like value. So, if the weight of the item plus the current weight of the knapsack is less than the max weight, we can append the item. Add the weight and the value. So if we can't do it, we need to break out of this while loop. So this is greater than the max weight, we're done. Then we need to return the knapsack, knapsack weight, and knapsack value. So, here we have knapsack greedy. We're going to pass in the weight function, and let's see what we get. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> we get something with weight 9, value 1. That kind of stinks. So, 
let's pass in value is the way we're sorting. Okay, there we go. We got value 9 instead of value 3. Now let's try this one more time. But we're going to use density. Hey now. So we got value 24 for density, value 17 for sorting by value, and value of 6 for sorting by weight. So it seems that sorting by density gives a better solution. Let's run it one more time and see what happens. Value 9, value 9, value 14. So density is better. Value 4, value 18, value 28. Density is better again. So you can extend this in many ways. And remember, this will not give an optimal solution. It will give at least a 50% optimal solution. So, thanks for watching.